In SOLIDWORKS, the separate solid bodies of a multi-body part can be isolated and detailed on a drawing. There are many ways to do this, and we'll go through each of them for comparison. First, a quick overview. We have the Select Bodies option in the Drawing View properties of a multi-body part. We also have the Relative View command located in the Drawings Command Manager. And lastly, we can make use of display states, but this may impact performance if used in excess. In this scenario, we have a multi-body part from a vendor and we want to detail the individual components on our drawing for incoming inspection. In this case, we could save each of the solid bodies as individual parts and import them into a drawing, but that would be cumbersome and could lead to file management issues down the road. Thankfully, we have some time-saving alternatives. The first and easiest method is the Select Bodies function, located in the Drawing View properties. To access this, let's start a drawing and insert a view from the view palette. Then, from the properties, choose Select Bodies. This brings us back to the part file where we can select the body or bodies for the desired view. Let's start with the nozzle. The drawing view is resized to display only the nozzle and retains the same orientation. Any projected views include this body only. Additional bodies can be added using the same process. The two bodies are locked in their relative positions. The projected view does not update to include the new bodies. This must be done manually. A second method can be used if the orientation of the body needs to be customized. This is done using the relative view command found in the drawing tab of the command manager. Start by selecting an existing view on the drawing and in the part file, change scope to selected bodies. A selection box appears, prompting us to choose a body or bodies from the graphics area. Then specify two perpendicular faces or planes using whichever orientation is most suitable. The relative view is brought into the drawing space and can be placed with a click. Projected views retain this custom orientation. Lastly, we'll explore the use of display states. This method adds the step of creating a display state, but if one is already required, this can save some time. To do this, we'll go back to the part. In the Configurations tab, at the bottom, we'll right-click to add a display state. Let's call it Trigger. In the Graphics area, we'll hold the Control key and select the unneeded bodies and right-click to hide. We'll need to switch back to the default before going back to the drawing, and this gives us a chance to ensure it was done properly. If we insert another right view, this time, instead of using the Select Bodies feature, we can go down to the Display State section of the Property Manager and select the Trigger Display State. This provides an isolated view of the trigger on the drawing. You can see the border of the view still encapsulates the entire multi-body part and the hidden model edges appear in orange when highlighted by the mouse, indicating that the entire part is being loaded into the view. This can take an unnecessary toll on performance if multiple views are created this way, including projected views from the parent. This has been an overview of breaking out the individual bodies of a multi-body part into separate drawing views. For more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit us at hawkridgesys.com.